Hi friends, how often do you take some quiet, simple time to just think and reflect and be in the moment, being in the present and allowing beauty around you to inspire? How often do you take a walk and observe the flowers and hear the sounds of the birds and watch the colors bloom in front of your eyes? There is so much peace and tranquility that is to be discovered when we're out in nature and instead of contemplating our to-do list, it's important to try to be in that moment, listening to the sounds, watching the beautiful colors, seeing things in motion, and being able to be inspired and encouraged and find healing through that process. You know I'm a painter if you follow me on this channel, and I'm always looking for things that can help uplift my mood and maybe even things that I can create into something beautiful, some type of artwork. And I'm hoping that I can inspire you also to pick up a paintbrush or whatever medium you use to try to express yourself artistically. It's a healing process that can help your brain even find words to describe things that you didn't know how to describe before. Painful memories, all the things that sometimes we repress inside because they're too hard to face. My challenge to you when you are out in nature is to be present and try to grasp that beauty. So today I thought for our simple painting, I would lead you through this painting I did here. I started out at the actual hike, but had to finish it up later at home. So I did a simple sketch of these mountains, these hills, and then I held my paintbrush really loosely and started adding in various green shades. I wanted to make sure that we could differentiate between each rolling hill. And with that, you just have to change the shade, in this case, green or brown, and especially where those two hills meet together so that you know where one hill stops and another hill begins. Look at this, I darkened up that hill right there, the largest one, so that it would stand out. It was a very dark and gloomy day, but bright with all the flowers. So we did a nice gray, light gray sky. This is my underpainting. Um, that first layer is down. I'm darkening up some of those layers too, just to have them stand out. But for that first layer, you just wanna put down that paint. You don't have to be too careful about it. You add in more layers later, and especially at the end, some details with a smaller brush. I didn't have a large brush. I would have started off with a larger one here. The larger you paint with, the more loose your painting will be, and the less really tight and intricate your painting starts to turn out. So holding the brush really loosely also helps with this loose um, effect here. So I'm adding in a little bit of a brown path I had covered up before because I forgot that I was gonna put a path in there. It's okay. You keep adding your layers as you see fit. Darkening it up, I used some browns, kind of some tan color and medium green. And then I added some turquoise as well because why not? These hills were alive with beautiful colors and I wanted to celebrate that. So now here I am back at home, lighting is a little different, surface is a little different, but I'm adding in the details now that my hills are dry and set. I'm just stippling with this brush some kind of sagey green color. Uh, there were a lot of bushes in these hills, especially in the foreground when I took this picture. And since we are painting the foreground here, we wanna make sure we have our objects a lot larger. As we go farther away, more in the distance, we're not gonna see all those details. And so with our hills, even some of those hills are not gonna have little blotches of flowers and that kind of thing. We're just gonna do some stripes of color as I'm doing here. And it's just the illusion because they're far away, so you're not gonna see the details that you'll see here. I've sped this part up here. I wanted to emulate these beautiful golden orange poppies all over this hill and I wanted to darken up my hill but before that wanted to add in my flowers so that we could then start blending it together with a little bit of green. So sometimes I speed things up because it takes a little bit longer than it really needs to be for the purpose of this video. Adding in some long large grass areas here in the front and even doing some scratchy marks with my liner brush adding in my flowers and look at how beautiful these red poppies look here. Oh my goodness. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. If you could be in this place where I was at, it's incredible. Such a sense of peace. My brain was shut off for just a few hours of time to be able to help myself 
just absorb all the lovely things I was taking in. I hope you enjoyed doing this painting today. It was just a fun little piece, a little studio update, and I hope to see you on the next video, guys. Take care. Happy painting. Thank you.